In this video, I'll break down how to create mixed media transitions using Final Cut Pro. Now this video is not gonna be how to do it using digital assets or digital overlays. I'm actually gonna be printing out pieces of paper, actually using like a knife to go ahead and cut stuff up and then scanning it back to my computer. So this is kind of like a practical way to create mixed media transitions. So in this video, I'll just give you a basic overview of how I created that really cool effect that you saw in the beginning of the video. So now we're in the Final Cut Pro timeline. Basically what it is, you see you have clip one and then clip two. So basically what I did was I went to the beginning or went to the middle of the two clips and then I went ahead and went back using the um, arrow keys. I went back 18 frames, so a total of 18 frames. Then what I did was I created six individual markers and each marker is three frames apart. So as you can see, one, two, three, one, two, three. So what I did was I went ahead and placed the playhead on each of these individual markers and base just exported these still frames. So I went over here to the share option right here, click on save current frame as you see, go to settings and you can change it to a PNG image and then just go ahead and save that to your desktop or your downloads, wherever you want to save it. So basically I just took an individual, of, I just took individually six different screenshots and basically that's basically like the starting point. You're just kind of fi figuring out what frames you want to actually um, print print out. Then I went ahead and took those like still frames or basically just essentially screenshots and I went ahead and imported them into a Pixelmator Pro document and then I went ahead and just printed it. You could also use like Google Docs, I think Adobe Photoshop, you could also create a similar document. You're basically trying to put all the all these different screenshots onto one sheet of paper and you're going to go ahead and actually just print it out. So that's really what's really cool about this effect. You're not using digital effects, it's actually all practical effects. So what you want to do is you simply want to go ahead and just send that to your printer and print it out. Now I have my printer set up to my phone so I can go ahead and just print stuff um, via an app on my phone but it might be a little bit different for you but basically what you want to do is you just want to get those still frames printed out so once you have your screenshots um, printed out there are a couple of tools you want to really make this effect look good and the first tool is a self-healing cutting mat now I'm sure you've probably seen this in a whole bunch of YouTube videos that green mat with those like grid lines it's called a self-healing cutting mat and it's just a good surface to go ahead and cut um, pieces of paper it's just a really nice thing it's a must-have tool I tried creating mixed media effects like using just like the, the top of my dresser and the surface is just not good enough So the self-healing cutting mat is more of like a rubber surface So it's a lot easier to cut on and you're also gonna want an exacto knife You don't want to go ahead and just take a knife from like your kitchen and try to make mixed media effects You want to get like an actual exacto knife. They are really good and they are essential self-healing cutting mat and exacto knife Two tools you desperately need in order to create some mixed media effects So basically all you want to do is go ahead and just place the piece of paper on the cutting mat and use the exacto knife and go ahead and just cut up whatever you want to create some transitions. You can cut out individual subjects to create more of a collage effect, but you're just simply going through cutting up and go ahead and create whatever look you desire. So once you have the paper all cut up and you went ahead and created the transition that you want, what you want to do is now you want to go ahead and scan that back to your computer. I'm going to go ahead and tell you basically my workflow. It might be different for you. Basically, like I said before, I have an app connected to my printer. I have a printer and scanner one, so I went ahead and just scanned it to my phone and then saved it on like the Photos app and because I have Apple computers or have a MacBook, it went ahead and just synced to the Photos app and then I just dragged that um, uh, image onto my desktop. And then I went ahead and just imported that back into Final Cut. So you wanna get that image scanned and back into Final Cut Pro 10. That is really essential. So once you have the scanned image imported into Final Cut, as you can see, here are the different photos. So here's basically what I had printed out. As you can see, I went ahead and just cut it all up and then scanned it back to my computer. So what you wanna take is you wanna take the scan document, place it on top of the timeline right here and go ahead and just trim it. And then all you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and just press on Command B to blade. Actually, before we do that, let's go ahead and let's just increase the scale of the entire image. So we're gonna go ahead and just zoom out to like 50% sent click on the transform tool you can go ahead and, and enable this icon and it allows us it allows you to see like outside so we're gonna go ahead and let's increase the scale to something like probably around like 550 something like that then we'll go ahead and take the transform tool and we'll go ahead and just move this over here and you're basically just trying to fit this frame into the frame so as you can see there we go that looks really good so there is the first one so as you can see just like that now what you want to do is you want to go to the next spot and click on command B to blend the clip select on right here use a transform tool to move it over so you can see we're just going to simply uh, move the frame over now we're going to head over here click on command um, b and select on this image we're going to go ahead and move the uh, the x over and now we want to go up to the third image so scroll down so as you can see there is the third image 
go over here, Command B to blade it. Select on this one to the X position, just move over. It's a very kind of like a monotonous process. But as you see, there we go. The next one, now you kind of just keep repeating those same steps. Command B and go ahead and let's move the X position over uh, something like this. So move it over. Now you want to go ahead and over here to this image. So use the Y position to scroll up. And as you can see, now press on um, Command B uh, to blade it. And we'll go ahead and move the position over. And there you go. It's a very kind of like monotonous uh, process, but I promise you the end result is definitely worth it. So we go ahead and play the video and let's see what it looks like. As you see, there you go. Now you have created this really cool like mixed media transition. And that is how you create some really cool mixed media transitions the practical way. So using an actual printer, a scanner, and actually cutting up the images. Of course you can use like digital overlays to obviously it's going to save you a lot of time. But I want to really give you a basic idea of how to do it the actual like practical way. And that's pretty much how you do it. It's pretty simple. It's a little time consuming, but the result is definitely uh, worth it. Anyways, hopefully you enjoy this video. And if you enjoy watching these types of videos, make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you're looking for some really cool final Pro plugins, presets, and overlays, definitely go ahead and check out my digital store. The link is down in the description below. Anyways, I will see you in the next one. Peace.